This is week 16 of the NFL, and in this Need to Know, we're talking about quarterbacks. With 12 games on the slate, I think there's only a few quarterbacks who could be over 10% owned. Andrew Luck, Dak Prescott, and Deshaun Watson. If I had to talk you off one of those three, it's Andrew Luck. Here's why. I'm mostly concerned that a Giants team with a 19 point total and no Odell Beckham can't score enough to push Luck towards his ceiling. And he's so expensive on FanDuel, you need a huge game. Meanwhile, Luck is cheaper on DraftKings, so I still might play him there. Dak Prescott has a lot working in his favor this week. He faces a terrible Buccaneers defense at home, where he's been much better. He also has strong splits favoring man coverage versus zone, and the Bucs are a man defense. Yeah, with the Cowboys favored by 8, there's some blowout risk with Dak, but he's so cheap he can even pay off in a blowout. With running back Lamar Miller ailing, it's possible the Texans take a pass-heavy approach and we get extra volume from Deshaun Watson. He's a one-point dog in Philadelphia against a defense that's allowed a league-high completion rate since their bye. The knock on Watson this week is that pairing him with Hopkins is both an expensive and fairly obvious combination. I think the most popular pivot quarterbacks will be Ben Roethlisberger and Drew Brees. If you're making multiple lineups and there's a game in the Superdome, make sure to get exposure. In the case of Breeze, he has multiple touchdowns in every home game this season and four touchdowns in his last three there. While I'm concerned about the offensive line being banged up and the Steelers' ability to get pressure, the Saints' 29.5 point team total is really all I need to see. With Roethlisberger, I know his home and away splits are looming here, but he's actually averaging 340 passing yards per game on the road this season, and he gets the afternoon start. The Saints remain one of the league's best run defenses, so I really expect the Steelers to lean on the passing game. The issue with both these pivots is their price. Roethlisberger is the most expensive quarterback on both sites, while Breeze is third. Couple that with their best receivers being similarly expensive, and now you have a stack that needs to crush in order to win a tournament. As for contrarian quarterbacks, I like Aaron Rodgers, Jameis Winston, and Baker Mayfield. Obviously, it hasn't been a great fantasy season for Aaron Rodgers, and the Packers' 21-point team total in New Jersey isn't all that inspiring. But the Packers have been a pass-heavy team this season and are now down to just one running back, so I trust the volume is there for Rodgers. And assuming his groin injury doesn't impede him, Rodgers has even been running more, with 89 rushing yards in his last three games. Jameis Winston is also an intriguing play as the Buccaneers have one of the highest volume passing attacks in the league. Before running into Baltimore, Winston had multiple touchdowns in his last four games. Plus, he was doing plenty of rushing. I know the Dallas defense is supposedly scary, but they've given up 23 points in three of their last four, so it's not like they're unbeatable. And since firing Hugh Jackson, Baker Mayfield has been one of the most accurate passers in the NFL. Now Baker draws a Cincy defense that he threw four touchdowns against in the first half. And with the Browns technically still in the playoff hunt, I doubt they take their foot off the pedal until this game is a lock. I'll add that my main concern with Baker is the Bengals being unable to score. So any team with Mayfield will definitely include Mixon.